News 8 has learned that a woman shot and killed inside the U.S. Capitol building during the riot is believed to be from San Diego. The husband of Ashley Babbitt tells News 8 he believes it was his wife who died. And while he didn't want to go on camera, Aaron tells us Ashley served in the Air Force for several years. Here's News 8's Abby Alford with more on the story. We spoke to Ashley Babbitt's husband tonight, Aaron, and he says that they lived here in Ocean Beach for three years, but they met in Washington, D.C. when she was in the National Guard. As protesters stormed the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, moments later, a woman was shot inside by Capitol Police. <laughs> San Diego and Aaron Babbitt was watching from home and saw the images of the woman on the ground. He believes it's his wife, 35-year-old Ashley Babbitt. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Aaron says that he's not heard from his wife and has tried all day to get confirmation. He's called D.C. hospitals, police, and was told that he would get official word from San Diego police. A New Jersey protester says he spoke to the woman after she was shot. We had uh, stormed into the, the chambers inside, and there was a young lady who rushed through the windows. A number of police and Secret Service were saying, get back get down, get out of the way. She didn't heed the call and as we kind of raced up to grab people and pull them back, they shot her in the neck and she fell back on me and started to say she was fine, it's cool. And then she started kind of like moving weird and blood was coming out of her mouth and neck and nose and I don't know if she's alive or dead anymore. Aaron Babbitt says that his wife served four tours overseas in the U.S. Air Force for 14 years as security and then in the National Guard. He says she flew to D.C. by herself to rally at the Capitol. He was planning to pick her up on Friday from the San Diego International Airport. They owned a pool company together. Babbitt says that his wife loved her country. News 8 also spoke to Ashley's brother, who did not want to go on camera, but tearfully said that she will be missed. Aaron Babbitt says that Congressman Daryl Issa has reached out to him to say that he's also looking into this.